Hi parents, thank you for checking out this video. I'm Elaine from Great Solution, Jimmy Math. In this video, I will be explaining how we can draw models for PSLE questions on fractions. Fractions is one of the major topics in PSLE Math. In the next few videos, I will be explaining other variations of PSLE questions that involve fractions. So stay tuned if you are keen on finding out more. Today, we'll be looking at two questions taken from past year prelim papers. The first question is taken from Taunan School and it is worth two marks. Alan spent 7 tenths of his allowance on food. He then spent half of his remaining allowance on some stationary items. He had $3 left. How much was Alan's allowance? Now, this is a basic fraction question that requires splitting, which you would see later. The key concept is that half of 3 units is $3. Okay, since he had used um, 7 units of his allowance on food, he had 3 units left. He spent half of the remaining, which is half of 3 units, and he had $3 left which means the other half of the three units equals to three dollars. In order to visualize this, we should encourage students to draw a model. Let's draw a long bar to represent his allowance at first, and that would be 10 units. He spent seven units on food. He then spent half of his remaining allowance on some stationary items. Now we can see that his remaining allowance is 3 units. So 3 units cannot be split into half directly. Therefore, we have to split the middle unit into 2 halves okay, to make this half of his allowance on stationary. And the other half would be $3. So let's indicate that as well. Now the problem is that this particular unit here has been split into two halves and it is of a different size from the remaining units. So let's just go ahead and split all the units up into two parts as well. Alright, in doing so, we have equal units throughout and that is when we can start solving the question. Now we can clearly see that 3 units, 1, 2 and 3, is $3. Okay, therefore, 1 unit is $1. How much was Alan's allowance? It won't be 10 units because we have already split every unit into two parts. Therefore, the total units now should be 20 and not 10. So make sure that um, when your child or the student is solving these sorts of questions, we use the new total units and not the original. Okay, so naturally 20 units would be $20. And this is the answer to this question. Moving on, let's look at a more complex question taken from Catholic High School and it is worth 3 marks. A box contained apples and pears. Four-fifths of the fruits were apples and the rest were pears. After three-quarters of the fruits were removed, there were one-eighth of the apples and 30 pears left. How many fruits were there in the box at first? Now, since three quarter of the fruits were removed that means one quarter of the fruits were left that would mean that one eighth of the apples and 30 pairs would be one quarter of the total number of fruits to start let's draw a model and split it into five equal groups since five was the original denominator here. 
Out of five units, four units were apples and the rest were pears. So let's indicate that on the model. Four units apples. That would mean the remaining one unit were pears. There were four units of apples. However, one eighth of the apples were left. Okay, in this case, we can't indicate one eighth right away. Fortunately, four units can become eight units pretty easily. We simply have to split it into two groups. So let's do that. Now, to make sure that all the units are the same, we also have to do it for the unit representing the pass. Okay, so now we have 10 units in total. And let's shade the one unit that represents the number of apples left. Okay, there were 30 pairs left and we do not know how many units that represents. So let's just do a random part here. and indicate that there are 30 left. What this means, as I've mentioned earlier, is that the two shaded portions represent one quarter of the total and the unshaded portion would naturally be the three quarter of the fruits that were removed. Okay, we have seven units here. Okay, and here we have two units minus 30. Okay, since there were 30 pairs left, that means the number of pairs removed was two units minus 30. What this means is that this seven units and this two units minus 30 is three quarter of the total number of fruits. And this one unit plus 30 would be one quarter of the total number of fruits. So let's write that down in an equation form. One unit plus 30 equals to one quarter of total. On this side, seven units plus two units minus 30 equals three quarter of total. All right, we can simplify this into nine units minus 30 equals to three quarter of total. In order to make a fair comparison, we have to make sure that the values here and here are the same. So how do we make one quarter into three quarter? Simple. We just multiply the entire equation by three. That would give us three units plus 90 equals to three quarter of the total. What that effectively means is that 9 units minus 30 is actually the same as 3 units plus 90. So let's write that down in another equation. Now at this point, it gets a little bit tricky because at P6, the students have not learned to change the sign from plus to minus or from minus to plus when we change side. Um, that is a skill that they learn in SEC 1. So how do we explain this to primary 6 students? We draw another model. All right, so let's draw 9 units minus 30 first. So 9 units minus 30 means we remove 30. So we are left with, when we remove 30, we are left with this length over here. 
Okay, so 9 units minus 30 would be this length over here. This bar, this length is also the same as 3 units plus 90. So let's just indicate that. 3 units plus 90. Okay, from here, let's migrate this upwards. This would also be 3 units. What that means is that this portion from here to here makes up 6 units. Okay, and 6 units is 90 because this bar here is 90 plus 30. Now that this visualization is done, we simply write it down in an equation form. I'll explain again. Since the entire bar here is 9 units and this portion here is 3 units, that means the remaining portion from here to here is 6 units. And 6 units is 90 plus 30. And that would give us 120. Let's go ahead and find the value of 1 unit. So 120 divided by 6, that would give us 20. Going back to the question, how many fruits were there in the box at first? Okay, now at first, we used a denominator of 5, which is 5 parts. But let's not forget that we have already split each unit into 2 parts. So the new total units would be 10 units. And that would give us 200. And that is the answer to this question. I hope this tutorial was easy for you to follow, especially the second question where it gets a little bit more complex. You can see that we actually use the method of elimination in simultaneous equation to solve this question, but in a way where P6 students can understand. If you have any questions for me or have any suggestions as to what kind of topics you would like to see in upcoming videos, please feel free to leave a comment in the comments section and also subscribe to this channel for more free tutorials.